This tutorial will show you the basics of adding parts to your model in VSP and modifying them. To begin, let's start by adding a fuselage. Locate the Geometry Browser and open the Parts drop-down menu. Select Fuse, then click Add. The part will show up in the main window. You will also notice that the part name, highlighted in blue, is added to the Geometry Browser. At the same time, the Fuselage Geometry Browser will open next to the main window. We will use this browser to modify the shape of the fuselage. If by chance you happen to close the part browser, simply double click the name and it will reappear. If you happen to close the geometry browser, find Geom along the main window toolbar, then select modify. The geometry browser will reappear next to the main window. Along the top of the fuselage geometry browser, you will notice five different tabs. The first two, general parameters, and transform are the same for every part. These two will be explained in further detail in this tutorial. The first tab in the fuselage browser is the general parameters tab. Changes in the characteristics of this tab will affect the fuselage as a whole. For example, let's change the name of the fuselage. Right now, it is labeled Fuse Zero. Under the name and color label, change the name to fuselage. Simply delete the previous name, type in fuselage, and hit enter. You will notice that the highlighted name in the Geom browser also changed. You can also specify what material each part is. In the Geom browser, select texture. This will allow you to see the different materials. In the fuselage Geom browser, select the drop down menu next to material. As you can see, there are many different options for materials. Select Gold. As you can see, the color of the fuselage changed from gray to a golden color. The different colors shown below the material options will affect the wire view of the part. To observe this, select Wire on the Geom browser. As you select different options, the colors will simultaneously be updated in the main window. For this example, let's select black for the wireframe of the fuselage. The transform tab allows you to move a specific part around in relation to either an absolute coordinate system or a relative coordinate system. This is denoted by selecting absolute or relative. Let's select absolute for now. The transforms can be divided into two groups location movements, and rotation movements. Let's add a wing part to utilize these transforms. Go to the Geom browser and use the drop-down menu to select MS Wing. Click Add. The part will show up in the main window. Let's begin modifying the wing part. First, change the name of the part in the Gen tab. Name it Front Wing. Hit Enter. Notice that the name of the part changed in the Geom browser as well. Now go to the Transform tab in the Wing browser. You can change the placement of the wing in the X, Y, and Z direction. Use the slider next to X location to move the wing along the length of the fuselage. A default value of 0 is at the front of the fuselage. The slider next to the Y location will move the wing in relation to the cross width of the fuselage. The Z location will move the wing up and down from the fuselage. The rotation transform will move the part around a specific axis. In order to see this better, let us remove any symmetry there may be in the wing part. Locate symmetry and select None. Use the sliders to rotate the part around the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. Now that you have experimented with the transform options, set the X location to be 3 from the front of the fuselage. The Y and Z locations should be set to 0. All the rotations should also be set to 0. And finally, for symmetry, select XZ. You now have a wing again. You can also change the overall size of the wing by using scale factor. Use the slider to change this value. 
Hitting accept will set it to 1. If you change your value and hit reset, the wing will be resized to the default factor of 1.0. The mass properties option will allow you to calculate the centers of gravity and moments of inertia of your model. These will be further discussed in another tutorial. This completes your introduction to the basic tabs for modifying various parts. Let's review what you have learned. You were shown how to add parts to your model. Then you were introduced to modifying parts using two basic tabs, the General Parameters tab and the Transform tab.